All right, viewers, this is just coming in. News alert from Australia. Hundreds of people have been evacuated from a mall in Sydney amid reports of multiple people who have been stabbed inside. Now, the New South Wales ambulance says seven people had been taken to the city's hospitals, including a baby and mother. An eyewitness says people were yelling and screaming in panic as the attack happened. One person has reportedly been shot dead by police. He is believed to be the attacker. Police say only one offender was involved here. Emergency services were called to Westfield Bondi Junction just before 4 p.m. That's 0600 GMT. Following the reports, New South Wales New State Police said a police operation was underway but did not provide further details. Now, several posts on social media showed crowds fleeing the mall and police cars and emergency services rushing to the area. For more on this, our correspondent Dasuni Athoda shares details about the horrific incident. What started off as just another weekend here in Australia, Sydney has turned quite horrific for those in Sydney, with a mass stabbing that was reported mere moments ago, resulting in the death of four people. As of right now, it has been confirmed by the security and police authorities that the perpetrator has been shot dead. Now, four casualties have been reported so far, and among the injured who have been taken to hospital is a nine-month-old baby and their mother. Now, mass stabbings of this nature are quite unheard of in this part of the world, and obviously, this entire incident has come out as a shock for not only Sydney, but the entire nation. Stay with Weon as we bring you the very latest on this developing story. Reporting from Australia, I'm Dasunia Thauda. Of course, these are visuals from around the mall where we see a number of ambulances who, which are in place. To talk more on this, we are joined by Anthony Klan, who is an investigative journalist based in Sydney. Welcome to Beyond, Mr. Klan. I wanted to just understand from you, we understand details are still coming in. What are investigations revealing so far? Hello, yes, it, uh, it appears six people have been killed, uh, have been confirmed dead so far. Several six more people. have been rushed to hospital. Uh, this, is, this is the latest information coming in. Um, we've, we've heard just now from the um, from police inspector who said the, 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 the man uh, involved in the, in the uh, stabbing, he was shot dead. Uh, there, was a, there was a lone uh, female police officer who was, or who was uh, in the store at the time. She was guided um, to, the, to the attacker by uh, customers. Uh, she approached the attacker. He has turned around, raised his knife. She shot him dead. Um, police then later performed CPR on the man who died on the, in the scene. Um, yes, um, among those rushed to hospital have been a, a young child who was stabbed as well as a as well as a, a mother. Um, police have said it's too early to to confirm or to to say whether whether or not it involved a terror incident, but that's something they would look into. But at this stage, there was nothing to indicate that it was religiously motivated or terror motivated. But they also did say, look, things are very early uh, and it's a moving scene, um, and they'll be investigating throughout the evening. Uh, Mr. Klein, what else do we know regarding the evacuations which have been going on from inside the mall? The scenes inside have been extremely, it's been full of panic. Indeed, we're, we're getting reports, a lot, of, a lot of coming out on social media, people are sharing reports. Um, there's quite a lot of people um, still in the store, we're told. Um, there are groups of police um, that are securing the area, um, ensuring that there aren't, there aren't still people sort of that aren't aware that the situation is now under control, such as hiding in back rooms of stores and that sort of thing. And, and this will go on for several more hours. All right, uh, Mr. Glenn, we'd thank you so much for joining and sharing all those insights with us. Of course, this is a story which is developing. We will be tracking this right here on Beyond a World is One.